Joseph, go beat your ass. What's good, y'all? Master Sun here. Ancient Madness Ass, episode 18 review. My live reactions in the description below. Hit that up, son. Thank you. Now, y'all, this episode... Fuck Joseph. This episode, right? Here's the thing, right? Now, the girl immediately went to Cheesehead's house. Stella, we didn't have no time to prepare. Girl, we, we, girl, we don't have much visitors, you know what I'm saying? You can't just roll up on the house like this, you know what I'm saying? How do you know where she lives, anyways? <laughs> but, you know, uh, as far as that thing, that whole thing in the house, I mean... It's not really the fact that she's still acting mature for her age. I mean, she basically just said everything her father said. That was kind of funny in there, though. I'm 10. How old are you? I'm almost 16. You just come out consider her to be 16. <laughs> Honestly, almost 16. It's been like a year since y'all been. To, well, I don't know exactly, right? I don't know exactly, right? But anyways. <laughs> Stella basically had to teach she said to talk, apparently. <laughs> but, you know, this actually reminds me to, like, the opener of the second half. She was still doing that whole timing thing. Timing. Timing. I didn't even talk to this guy. Eventually. <laughs> she still didn't even get to talk to him yet. But, you know, it was having that moment. She brought over a bunch of sweets. He got me hungry and stuff. I got to get some gifts to the, you know, I got to hit the ice cream parlor after the video. But anyway. <laughs> but anyways, man, here's the thing. The whole thing about A's work. You know, he's still basically going through the whole human emotion things. Because, let's be real. Prior to me, she said he didn't give a fuck about nobody. So, <laughs> there it is. Then that whole jealousy thing came about. Bro, bro, I, 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 know, I know Ainsworth ain't got a face. I know he ain't got a face. But come on. When Stella was watching the house, he did, it just panned over to him just looking. That boy was like, really? Really? You're here? Really? <laughs> so, basically, he was feeling jealous. And you know, when he got those emotions they going through him, he tends to change for him, I guess. That's, just, that's probably the only way he's going to turn to a four-legged animal with a tail that's a, a web tail and ran. He even covered his face and everything like that. He just started taking off. She just had ran right after him. Which, you can't, at the end of the day, you can't be mad at her for him. You got to be doing that shit too much. <laughs> but anyways, man. So I had to go home. We had to walk home. She ran after that guy. Turned into that wolf, that white fox. It's not a fox. Where did I get white fox from? What show is that from? I don't know. I just really, really, I just really felt like saying that. Like that's part of my shot. Like, the white tail fox. She turned to a wolf. Anyways, she turned to a white wolf. That felt even better. And then she just chased after him. So, hey, like, you can't outrun this boy. But you know, he he knew she was back back there. <laughs> so he would never. Really, I don't want to say it was a trap. But it felt like a trap. Like she, <laughs> now that tentacle scene. Yeah, we, we all know what thought crossed all mine at least once. Even if you wasn't an anime fan in this day and age. Yeah. Ains are probably like a kinky anyways. I mean, let's be real about it. Let's be real about it. You don't know what this man likes. He got horns. This episode really put into perspective how big Ains with head is. Because, you know... <laughs> excuse me, his skull... And she thought she was going to eat him. I don't know if he was going to eat her, but, you know, very possible, because he did bite her. This is kinky shit in this episode. Tentacles squeezing the hell out of her, bite her and shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, work. Now, again, this is a mature rated show. These kind of things happen. <laughs> Worst fans ever that I've ever seen, but hey. It had just kind of happened. I mean, what you want? <laughs> but anyways... As far as that goes, she had to call that homie Roof. Roof came through. Now, as far as the baby, not even a baby, the kid of the queen, that happened quick, didn't it? That was real quick. Couldn't even open her eyes all the way. I didn't even trust her at all until she said who she was. Now, she said went to the extreme when she put out that knife. So I tried to explain this shit. Roof. God dang. I gave him an explanation of anything. He tied the grip. Like, that don't make nothing no better. Okay, you gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna do this. Why is she trying to kill herself, though? I would have stabbed him. But come on, you squeezing the life out of me, talking about you about to eat me. It's gonna be me or you. Which one do you think I'm gonna pick? I mean, it worked, but, you know, actually, you know, probably. How well does Ace, does Ace would feel pain? Like, physical pain? That's actually a good question. Anyways, man. 
So you had to go ahead and put that knife to his throat and start bleeding and stuff. This girl's too prepared to die. Like, I thought it was past this when you talked to old boy and the dra- dragon episode. Come on, GJ. Uh, but it worked out. Talk about, oh, so you was mad. Boy, I was mad as hell. You almost fucking... <laughs> uh, she's going to beat your ass, though. Went back to the house and be like, hey, I mean, let's sleep together. Sixteen is the legal age of consent, by the way. She says almost ready. Anyways, as far as that concerned, that whole thing with the lullaby, I mean, I, it really just hit my mind. It's like, so she can sing now. <laughs> but that's the same voice actor, though. So that voice actor, guess, that voice actor, you can sing voice actor, this voice actor. I'm about to look you up, girl. Let me get that album out somewhere. <laughs> A lot of boys actors got albums. You would be surprised. Man, that shit knocked them out, though. Like, clean knocked out for a few days. <laughs> I don't know how many days it was. She said went to the jail because I was her. I, you know whenever she get those bags, I was like, all right, she, I, she, she stressed, confused, or something. Apparently that lullaby, I don't, that lullaby had a lot of magic going with it, apparently. That's why she had that thing going through it. She's bleeding up, coughing blood and stuff. Like, the hell? I thought you were a slave, baby, but really? You're, you're singing his magic? You're singing, you're singing his magic. Wait, she, her singing is good to put people to sleep. She can't release no platinum album. Yeah, she can. She's saying, I'm going to make you a star. <laughs> Anyways, man. She's got the magic voice. I wonder if they work on Wait, Ruth probably wasn't there. Should have been there. Making sure. She, last time she was in the bed with the motherfucker, she almost got eight, too. Don't, don't be wrong. Don't, don't forget, this is night two she spent with the man. This episode was a big sexual reference, okay? Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. That part when she... Just, that's why I was talking about how Angel got a big-ass head. Like, she was just opening the shit, looking dead into Ruth's eyes, staring right at Ruth, be like, I'm only doing what is necessary. Ha! <laughs> Like, oh, you're awake. Oh, you're awake. Okay. Oops, like. <laughs> this is what we do now. <laughs> this is what this is what we do. Then she fell out right afterwards. And she was just like, if you don't know explain something, we fighting. <laughs> oh man. Now here comes a shit with Joseph. His name was Joseph, right? I'm pretty sure the preacher called him Joseph. Those guys trying to warn them on those dragons. Let them with gangsters here. Pull out the blade on them. Like, that's what people do in this show. Fuck guns. You ain't got a knife or sword or nothing. She just pulled that out like she had that every... Like, she, like she got that every day just tucked away that knife. Let them know different. He keep that sword on him. Damn. You probably want to play in this series. Man. <laughs> I need to start making those same references that took... I thought it was a father daughter thing, but now it's mother and son kind of thing the way it's looking now. Look, they love each other. Stop trying to do that parental thing. I'm just being real with it. That's what this the show's got Asian Maddie's breath. Stop being. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is around here. Come on now. Anyways, man, I'm just going to leave the whole thing with Joseph the next week. Come on. First of all, he hit some thing with Stella. Everybody's at Ainsworth's house next week. People's crying next week. People are all up on Shisei's neck with that lips next to her ear. That's what it's been shit. Like I said, big sexual reference. So, I don't know. Damn, this review is nine minutes. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me go. I've been, I've been rambling for too much. That was a lot to this episode. Okay. Oh, key. They would feel like until you watch the end of it. Like, then you look back like, wow, a lot happened today. <laughs> Surprised we made it through sometimes. And that's for things to get real as fuck next week. Watch your ass. Go watch this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me. I'll see y'all. Peace out.